everyone, this is a fruit back again with some what's on deck. Just finished doing some unboxings and I'm going to try to record this since I have time today. At least get through as much as I can today. So that I can focus on reviews on Sunday for a change. Anyways, let's start off with Kickstarter. Let's see what is new. What is this? Expert at the card table, enamel pins from Jim Jackson. 30% funded 29 days to go. Why not? Let's have a look at it. Oh boy. Um. Apparently, he initially had to see Fasten slash accessories, but he changed the game slash point cards because obviously it makes sense. It's point card related. Uh, those are the pins. It's just the hands <laughs> doing cardistry. How exciting. <laughs> and some of them are locked. There's lots of stretch goals, lots of uh, pins. I'm not sure who really would be interested. He's 10 bucks for one pin. 10 bucks seats. Alrighty then. <laughs> How exciting. Next we got Digital Cobalt Blue and Gunmetal Gray CE Volume 2 Point Cards by Jason Wen. Back at it again with new colors for the same old decks. It is funded though, 11 days to go. Well, take a quick peek. It's the same decks as before. Different colors. I do like the blue and the black. Not a huge fan of black decks because they're just chip. If they have, you know, white borders, that's a different case. But obviously these are not. Printed by NPC, Live in Finis. Uh, there's your back design, lots of circuitry details. Still not a fan of this font or tuck case. Should have been better. Decent custom pips, standard core cards recolored. Uh, not so I'm feeling uh, either color on the core cards. And am I to believe the gray deck has all gray suits? And colors in the blue deck all blue, or is there something different for the black suits? Because it doesn't show the black suits, it just shows the red suits. So, it is what it is. Not too exciting for me. Moving on to something more exciting, also from NPC, ironically, it is the new Impressions Rising Sun and Azura edition. Point cards from NPC, it is well funded already, 39 days to go. Not so why they need so much time. But that should give them plenty of time to actually produce and finish the cards and get them fulfilled. Alright, NPC, it's not going to take you three months after the project is done to get them produced and fulfilled. Just saying. <laughs> um, and these ones are red and blue. And you can see they have that impressions in Boston. It says it's pretty much Japan inspired deck of cards. Uh, no. They took that from their last project, I'm pretty sure. Because that, their last project was Japanese-inspired. Well, I mean, the only Japanese-inspired, I guess, is the colors. I guess that's what they mean. Rising Sun and Azura, whatever Azura means. Something blue, obviously. Uh, black suits for the hearts and diamonds on the red deck. That's interesting. And then white for the clubs and spades. You can see that texture. It's very cool texture, by the way. You have to see it. To, you have to feel it and see it to believe it, really. Uh, but you can kind of see what you get there. Very cool, kind of glossy texture. You totally feel that. It's a very unique thing. And the blue ones have red for the hearts and diamonds and white for the clubs and spades. Nice big pips on all the aces. There it is. Look at that. Just really cool. It's like somebody put wax on playing card. To some extent. Um... They have apparently changed or using new stock and fittest, so it should handle even better. There they are. Very nice. We got it quickly here. There's your back design, by the way. It's that tree back design. It's actually. A one way back design, as you can see, I think. Oh no, it's, it's Miriam's. I'm not so what I'm thinking. It's definitely Miriam's. Paul's eyes. Um, it is a blue one. Very nice. Mm 
improved, they, they did feature this as an improved varnish for a smoother handling and finish as you can see. New card stock and varnish. So I'll, I'll wait to see that. And it looks like they are pointing them, so that's good. They should be done and ready to ship as soon as this project is done, right? I hope. 16 bucks each is a little bit pricey, but they are really cool and unique decks, especially if you haven't gotten the previous ones. Worth checking out. Moving on, we have these Cyberpunk point cards, my Elephant point cards, which I looked at last week. It has launched, it is funded, well funded, 17 days to go. Three different decks or colors. Very nice. I, I, I think we pretty much covered it last week before it launched. Hmm. Let's check out Rumsky very quickly. I have no idea. This is actually cards. Or not. But well, you would expect that it is because it's Rummy based. Horrible back design. And, well, it's not playing cards. Not really. Sort of, somewhat. It could be used as playing cards. There are different four colors, which could be different suits. They do have values 1 through 13, just like Ace to King. And there's wild cards, which could be used as jokers. It's not your stereotypical poker deck. I probably wouldn't use it for poker. I probably wouldn't get it. It's kind of like a combination poker deck slash Uno deck, but there it is. It still could be used. You do have different suits, if you will. It's a horrible back design. Not my cup of tea. No idea who's printing it. We'll move on. <laughs> Um, we got that Drunken Royalty, Twisted Medieval Point Card Collection by Eric Seabolt. 23% funded, 23 days to go. Don't think it's going to happen. Really don't think Rumsky is going to happen. Uh, Monolith from Third Way. By the way, special thanks to Giovanni for sending me for the Betrayers. He sent me double what I pledged. He sent me two of each. Really appreciate it. Really unexpected and unnecessary. But he has a new project, the Monolith Point Cards, currently on Kickstarter. Very nice, definitely worth checking out, very unique, well funded with 8 days to go. You dirty rat. <laughs> ah, there's something about a rat here. Prototype playing cards by Vin it is 54% funded, 21 days to go. Don't really think it's going to fund, but it may. Dance of Death by Sergey is 80% funded, 18 days to go, there's a chance that one funds. It's not bad, A for effort as far as the customization and art book is concerned. But, not really my cup of tea, I don't think. Aristo Steampunk Point Cards by Aristo is funded, 25 days to go. Uh, it's interesting looking deck of cards, one that I may check out later on, I guess. All sorts of other Oracle uh, decks here and stuff like that. Lux Runa Metal Point Cards by Forbes is funded, 18 days to go. Not that Forbes, just some other Forbes, I guess. <laughs> Pretty sure it's not that Forbes. I know, it could be wrong. Um, QR Point Cards by Saxton Cards, 25% funded, 32 days to go. Not going to happen. Not likely anyways. Invocation by Jackson Wellington is funded, 16 days to go. Kind of slowed down funding-wise, but it's it funded. Emanations by Marty Gilbert, not really my cup of tea, but it is funded, 6 days to go. I don't mind the faces, that old style pipless faces, indexless faces, I should say, not pipless, it's got pips, obviously. It has pips. It has no indexes. It has no indexes. Old school style. It's a uh, feral style. That's what it's called. But the back designs really don't feel like they fit with that style of face, in my opinion. But it is funded. Double cards from Ying New York. 2% funded. 30 days to go. It has a chance of funding. <laughs> Not really. There's no chance in hell it's going to fund. It's a very interesting deck. I'm not sure how practical it is or who would use it, but basically every card has two different possible values and seats, which is just kind of weird. Isumi Kitsuni. Isumi Kitsuni. It rhymes. Playing cards by Card Experiment. It's funded. Nine days to go. Very nice decks. Looks like a recolor of the previous decks, though. But still nice, and I will definitely check it out later on. Helheim. Playing cards by Design. Imperator is funded. Eleven days to go. Always worth checking out. I'm not sure if I'm going to go for it or not. I'm trying to get away from backing projects on Kickstarter as much as possible. It just feels like more of the same from them. I wish they would do something different. 
And then there is blood and beast premium poker point cards by purely idea, which is purely design imperator's ideas, pretty much. <laughs> it looks like something he would have designed, but it's not. And it is funded though four days to go. Secret Action Squad. Missing double one. Right, Chris Jensen is 13% funded, 15 days to go, and 001% zero, zero chance of funding. <laughs> Grid Series 3 Typographic Point Cards by Luke Waddy is well funded. Nine days to go. It's not bad, it's colorful. Meow Star Meow. by v, uh, V2 by Bokobo is somehow well funded. Nine days to go. I don't know who keeps throwing money at Bokobo, but really, there's much better decks out there to pledge for, in my opinion. Skelstromance Point Cards, speaking of which, would be better to pledge for than Meow Star. I Jacob Smith is not funded. It's 45% funded. Nine days to go. Not sure it's going to make it at this rate. It's not likely. Spades. The Game of Spades by Aaron Parker. 28% funded. 38 days to go. Still don't think it's going to happen, but it has a slight chance. At least it's a cool visual there that they got. Nice picture. Shiny looking. Diamond Point Guards number 10. Black and White by Diamond Point Guards is well funded. 8 days to go. Not really my cup of tea though. Make 100. I'm not, I didn't even know they were still doing Make 100, but apparently they are. Modern Day Myth Spirits Point Guards by Lindsay Bailey, 61% funded, 5 days to go. Slim chance it gets the rest of its funding in the last few days, but I um, wouldn't hold my breath. Premortal Greek Mythology Point Guards by Costa Pantasis. Pantasis is funded, 3 days to go. Pretty nice looking decks, I hope to pick it up later on. Uh, Mizatama Point Guard by Matoya Tanaka. 36% funded, 42 hours to go. It's a polka dot back design. It's not going to happen, especially with the time that's left and the amount of funding needed. And somehow this Chinese New Year deck funded by somebody named Honey Winkler. By the way, there's a picture that I want to see. If I can see what picture that is. To me, it feels like it's an Italian silver project. Somebody else, I'm not the only one who's had that feeling. Somebody else mentioned that to me. It's a fake name. It's not a real name. Google it. You won't find anyone named Honey Winkler. That's real, at least. Apparently, they've created two projects. Oh, God. They got another one already? Chinese New Year Blue Limited Edition. The picture, by the way, is of some kind of Filipino. I think it was started. Oh, wow. It's been suspended. Funding was suspended. That's great. 100% great. I mean, it's a, it's just a... That's an ugly design. A new version. It's just a different color of the previous deck. That shouldn't have happened anyway. Why is there a second project already? I agree with that too. The, first, the red deck had a $500 goal, which is really low for a point guard project, with no information on who is producing it, vague information on who the creator is. And now this one had a $1,500 goal for a deck that's a limited edition. It should be less money, not more. Um, unless there's going to be foil on the tuckers or something, but still, GLaDOS suspended. The only pig here is the creator, who needs to go away. Natalia Silva needs to go away. <laughs> as well. Uh, stay tuned, I'm going to have a quick look to see what else is going on in the world cards. Not much to my knowledge though. Oops. Alright, just a few things I guess worth mentioning. First of all, somebody found this on eBay. They were saying it before. Bicycle Ovo X playing cards. October is very old. It has Canadian, it's got French writing on it which is very interesting. You think it would be made you know, available in Canada. Interesting back design it says overall over it <laughs> with flowers just very interesting it's like they took a rider bag and cut out the middle and pasted something else in there uh can't take yoke can't take a joke as it say on the jokers it's interesting and then standard court cards with a, a bird in the opposite corner is an owl very kind of halloween themed i guess it's interesting i'm kind of surprised that there wasn't a jade that actually found this or somebody else or that he has even mentioned it. But, um, hmm. It's interesting. 
I have no idea. I have no information about it. Never seen it before until now. Uh, moving on very quickly. I see that Murphy's Magic has got betrayers. The free standard ones. Those are going out to retailers soon. As well as the bicycle fair editions from Plain Card Decks, which you can get on their still probably on sale. Uh, Superior Rainbow Deck, where I'm still waiting on that one. Passings, Plain Guards, Passings Pizza, I should say. That's coming. The Pharaoh, which I've got, that's also from Plain Card Decks, worth checking out. The Terry Casino Fremonts, which we'll get into. <laughs> Believe me. They also got a Gaff Rider back. It says blue, but it's actually red at this one. Some mistake there, but. The red one is the most recent one. It says by Boko Bowl, so it's the same one I got. They also got top bases of World War One and Two there, the standard ones. Very nice looking top bases. Those are on the way from, my, from the project that I backed. And the entry decks, the Suns and Peppers. Really not my cup of tea. It's a nice ace of spades. The back designs, the top cases are kind of horrible. The back designs aren't exciting. Just not my cup of tea. We won't even look at those. I did want to mention this one though, Terry Casino Fremont. When I saw this the other day when it came out, I'm like, that is not what I expected. There was a lot of hype about this new Fremont deck coming, and it's only on a pre-release right now. I know sites are pre-selling it right now, like Plain Card Decks and others. It's not what I was expecting. I was expecting the Terry's, you know, design overlaid on like a B diamond back design. Because that's what you see from Fremont's casinos. Instead, it's just a green cherry casino deck, which seemed like it was overhyped. All new Fremont's edition, and really it's just a different color. Why is it called Fremont's even? I really don't know, because it has nothing to do with Fremont Casino. I don't know what Fremont's has to do with anything here. It's just a Sahara green deck, in my opinion. Obviously, Metallic Inks and all the the usual stuff that you get with a very nice deck, nice color, very interesting color. Um, I like it, but still it just seemed like I felt that we were going to be getting something different. By the way, I don't know if I, who won, cannot give away they were doing. Probably wasn't me. And this, I just noticed on the forums, is a new deck from Fury 11. It's called Tavern on the Green. Very interesting. Obviously, it's your typical Fury 11 Ultra fancy tuckies, come on. Very interesting. Tavern NYC. Very interesting tuckies. Uh, I can tell it looks like it's from the same designer as those other decks, the Hudson ones. <laughs> Similar style, I guess. But different. Nice, big, massive Ace of Spades. Beautiful back des uh, tuckies. Very nice back design in green. I don't know if there's going to be other colors of this in the future. I kind of hope not. And yeah, kind of similar style. Court cards is like the Hudson deck. Custom aces throughout and jokers. Very nice. Definitely worth checking out. Looks pretty cool. I'll probably wait for uh, Murphy's to get it. <laughs> Why not? I'm sure they will. It says it's limited edition though. Pays homage to the storied history of... Hmm. Wizard is owned by Calvert Val. Tavern on the Green was built as a seep fold in the 1880s to have 700 South Down Seep. It was transformed into a restaurant in 1944 as part of a park renovation by Robert Moses. We opened in 2014, pays homage to the roots with inviting decor and wood paneling reminiscent of the original seep fold. And this pays homage to that storied history, sealed in green and gold. Foil? Wow, green and gold foil. Well, the tuck is, yeah. And, um,. Hmm. Most intricate details are the top case of ever produced inside and out. Every detail signs. Exquisite embossing and ultra rich foil. Created aura that only belongs to Tavern. I would have preferred they just called it Tavern instead of Tavern on the Green. Seems like a, a slightly excessively long uh, name. That being said, I'm guessing this is the only variation we'll get. But it's very nicely done. Completely custom. Thumbs up. Uh, that is that. Comment, rate, subscribe. This has been a pretty short video this week. I will do an update on Sunday if there's anything new on Kickstarter or elsewhere that needs to be updated. The only other thing I will mention as well before I forget is Illusionist is having some kind of a sale 
I got an email the other day. Um, pretty big discounts on certain decks and stuff like that. So if you're looking for some of the decks, you can get them right now. Discounted. So that is that. Comment, rate, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.